Hey everybody, De really here. Please excuse any fireworks you may hear in the background as our neighbors for some reason have decided that for the 4th of July week, they're going to be setting fireworks off all night every night. It's like 1130 at night and they're still setting off fireworks. So I'm going to try to avoid having them in the background, but uh, they may pop up once in a while. So please bear with me. Anyway, I have returned. And this time I'm really, really sticking to my reduced schedule no matter what new things pop up that I really want to do. Thank you all so, so much for your support and understanding during this time. I'm really so grateful that nobody was really judgmental and nobody reamed me out for it or anything. I'm still not 100%, but it's time for me to get back on the horse. Can't let it go for too long, and I really want to know what happens in the stories myself, so it's time to get back to it. Yeah, so if you had listened to my last uh, announcement, you knew that those episodes of Destiny's Princess and Nameless that I've been uploading for the last two weeks were pre-recorded stuff that I had done before I actually took, well, at the beginning of my actual break, so that I felt like I had a little buffer. So now I'm going to officially be back doing new recordings. During my break, I got over 250 messages, which isn't a ton for a month-long period, but it's a lot to go over all at once, so I hope you'll all forgive me if I don't go back over all of those. If there's something you asked me during that period that you wanted an answer to, please re-ask here in the comments. From here out, though, I'll resume reading and responding to new messages on a regular basis the way I was before. The plan now is to do three videos a week, two Rain to Floor videos to be released on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Trigger Kiss, which will still be every other weekend, and the alternating weekends will be other videos. For now, it'll probably be Arcana Familia, but when Collar X Malice is released in late July, that may take over that spot. Oh, and continuing Rain to Fleur won the vote on Patreon, so when Skizlon's story gets close to finishing, I'll take a vote again to see who we should read next. Also, I'm still going to finish those last two episodes of Nobunaga's Route in Destiny's Princess, but I'm not going to finish Nameless because it's a really long game, apparently. Idea Factory never did get back to me, despite multiple attempts that I have made at contacting them about the videos that I believe have been fraudulently removed. Also, sadly, I've lost contact with Pink Cuppy Cakes. Until recently, I thought she was just busy with school, but now that exams should be over and everything, and I still haven't heard back from her in all this time, I'm a little worried about her. There hasn't been any activity on her blog or anything, so I hope she's okay. As far as I know, I hadn't done anything to offend her. I really hope I hadn't. But if I did, she never bothered to talk to me about it, so... Ugh. I really hate it when you just don't know what happened, you know, with somebody. I'd like to go back to a fuller schedule later on, but for now, I can't afford to keep the old schedule up, especially since another big, new, unforeseen cost came up. I have to seriously buckle down and go back to artwork and pay off debts, because thanks to doctor and tech bills, I'm now pretty much maxed out on credit, which is really, really bad. When I had a technician come out to help me get my PSP set up to record on my computer before, it was a brand new system, and I had forgotten to install antivirus before he looked at it, and I think he visited a page for instructions that contained a particularly nasty virus. You'd think they would know to make sure antivirus is in place before visiting risky sites like that. Usually when I get a virus, AVG or SpyBot eventually root it out, but this thing kept getting worse and worse to the point where the system took longer to start up than my older computers, and it would take 10 or more tries to access any web page if they would even load it all. So the whole idea was that all the recording software is such a pain to set up that I didn't want to do a factory restore, so I had to have someone come out again, and I'm so upset that it cost me over $500. The guy was here for five hours, and in the end, he couldn't fix things, and I still had to do a factory restore anyway, and reinstall and reset up everything for recording. So, yeah, I paid a whole bunch of money for nothing. And yep, my focus right now has to be paying off my credit cards. Then I want to spend some time focusing on learning Japanese a lot better, and that will help facilitate the videos. There's other things I want to do in my life too, but for now, that's the plan. Perhaps after a while I can start spending more time and money on the channel again, hopefully. Ah, so I did get a little rest over the break, but I spent a lot of it trying to squeeze in lots of games and anime while I could since, you know, pretty much since I started recording I hadn't had any recreational time, so I didn't get to play any games or watch anything that I really wanted to watch, anything like that. I really like the Dead Island games, and they released the definitive editions of them, and a new game is coming out later this year, so I played those spent a lot of time on those because those are rather extensive games. 
Um, I also read three other visual novels and played a few short games. For anime, I watched some Utano Prince Sama. Uh, I watched Arcana Familia, Tokyo Ghoul, The Seven Deadly Sins, Dramatical Murder, and rewatched some Psychopaths and K because I love them so much. K in particular is up there as one of my all time favorite anime series ever. Thank God for Hulu, Steam, and Netflix. I guess that's partly why I feel so scattered right now, still, too. So many things that I want to do, and I'm so bad at balancing activities. I need, like, three clones of myself to get things done. But I really can't wait to get back to doing some hands-on artwork again, because uh, that's where the biggest passion in my life lies, really. And I'm really excited about getting serious about Japanese, too. Something I should have done much earlier in life. But better late than never, right? Here's to hoping that part-time YouTubing on a regular basis will work out for me. Ugh. Well, you, you know how I kept trying to reduce things and it never worked out. I kept ending up doing more instead. Uh, it's like that with, um, I can't play MMOs either because I'm like that. I get obsessive about things. Some people have alcohol. Some people have gambling. I have MMOs and projects like this. Once I get into them, they become all consuming and I just spend like every waking moment on them and I just way too obsessive with these things. <laughs> so we'll see how it works out. But again, thank you all so much. Those of you who have stuck with me through all this and have been so supportive, you've all really helped me to hang in there and avoid hitting rock bottom. I hope I can repay you all with my work. I will definitely do my best to do that. Truthfully, at the minute, my heart isn't completely back into this yet, but that usually happens to me when I take a break from something. But once you get that steady pace back, it's easy again and everything settles in place. So hopefully that's what will happen. Well, for now, they're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.